The Pennsylvania Auto Show is underway and is giving people a glimpse of the future with several manufacturers displaying brand new electric vehicles. Fox 43's Matt Klein is live at the State Farm Show Complex in Harrisburg to talk about the investment into EVs. Yeah, Evan, that's right. There are more EVs on the showroom floor here at the PA Auto Show than at any point in the show's history. That trend reflects the growth of the technology as well as the infrastructure behind those EV technologies. People are flocking to Harrisburg to check out the flashy new cars on the showroom floor, including brand new EVs. We can foresee you know, a time where most of the cars that will be on the ground here will be pure electric vehicles, and it's a dramatic shift. Dan Lear with Lehman Volvo is one of the dealers displaying the latest EV models. He says he's seeing more people starting to ask about EVs. We're gaining more audience uh, for these vehicles, and people are really curious about you know, how they fit with their lives, how they really work, and you know, are they everything they're set out to be. There are more EVs being displayed on the floor than at any point in the PA Auto Show's history, reflecting the increase in options from manufacturers. But people still raise concerns about the range and the charging times of new EVs. A lot are worried about that long, long range or anxiety, long range anxiety. We Keith have Jack really with the PA Turnpike yeah, Commission no says right. the commission right, wants to help improve the infrastructure surrounding EVs. Pennsylvania is getting $5 million in federal funding to improve charging reliability, which will allow the turnpike to build 80 more charging stations. I think at the end of the day, we could probably add a third more chargers than what we could without that additional funding. Experts say the investments into EV infrastructure will help improve reliability. Of course, there's lots of questions that come along with that, but it's really some cool stuff that's coming down the road in the not too distant future. Now, Jack told me that the Turnpike is also looking into new technologies such as microgrids to help increase the reliability of those charging stations. Reporting in Harrisburg, Matt Kleindens, Fox 43 News.